Yes, now bless now. Don't forget the rest now. There's Rocksteady at King of the Pit TV signing in. Uh, I just had a full listen through to American baseball. It's not American baseball. It's modern baseball. Same thing, eh? Uh, modern baseballs. Why am I thinking of American baseball? Obviously, American baseball is a thing. Is it, am I crossing two ideas over? Have they got a song called American Summer or something along the lines of that? Or is there another band called... Who knows? Who cares? This is my review of my experience listening to Modern Baseball's debut LP, Sports. We just listened to it track by track upon this channel. The commentary should be up by now, if not, via the Patreon. 12 tracks. Doesn't outstay its welcome. We've got relatively short tunes on here. I mean, we do have some that go over three minutes long, but generally speaking, we're sub three minutes. We're within the two minute to three minute realm. Some of them being as short as, you know, sub one minute to one minute to two minute mark. And it's all music. It's all work. It's no filler, no filler, which is really good. Um, I'm not familiar with this style of music whatsoever. You know, I'm, I'm somewhat aware. I did get into emo a little bit when I was in my teenage years, but my emo was different to this emo. Um, I was into, like, 2000s, um, you know, revision of emo, the pop emo, the MySpace emo, uh, the Scene Kid emo, the Fringe emo, and so on and so forth. The Hawthorne Heights of emo, the Secondhand Serenade of emo. I never really delved into Midwest emo, uh, which I think roots, uh, you know, a little bit deeper within the hardcore punk community as opposed to, you know, the metal corey aspect of what I was familiar with when it came to emo music. So, it was an interesting listen. I came in here purely through knowing that one song by Modern Baseball, which is sort of, you know, redefined itself as a meme of a generation. Um, I expected a lot of twinkling guitars, uh, potentially in like a math core sort of way within reason. Nothing too harsh, very soft listening, but a couple of times, signatures and so forth. We didn't get that. We did get a few twinkling guitars. Uh, we got into the record through chords in a you know, a light pop punk fashion. And I thought, all right, this is a twist. I didn't expect that. As we got through the record, we did start to hear the clean twinkling guitars, which I was very pleased with. Um, instrumentally speaking, talented band, very good. I think the drummer stole the show a little bit. I thought the drummer was really good. I thought the drummer was really good, uh, really good for the job. Uh, liked noodling around on the tom drums a lot. Du -du 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 Not in a youth crew sense. Calm down, people. You know, I wasn't moshing. I wasn't moshing, but... You know, noodling around on them toms a lot. Uh, very poetic act. Uh, lyrically speaking, I can see how people could apply their own, um, you know, meanings to certain lines and so on and so forth. Uh, it takes a little bit of a listen to really grasp onto the lyrical content, I'm sure. A couple of replays purely as we're not structuring songs in a pop sense as to where we have a chorus ringing off in your ears uh, three, four times in a row over the span of three minutes. So, you know, as far as actually learning the lyrical content, a little more investment would be needed. But then again, a little more substance is provided through that being the case. Great atmosphere. Uh, I know it's uh, external to the music, but I felt like the um, album artwork was a little bit cheap in comparison to the production value and the actual investment of the writing process evidently spent by the band to create this project. Um, I mean, you know, it's nostalgic core and so on and so forth, but, I, you know, I felt like the sepia image, or sepia if that's what it's pron uh, pronounced as, uh, just looked a little bit cheap, just looked a little bit cheap. They could have done a better, uh, more fitting uh, album to fit the branding and the aesthetic I personally felt in relation to the uh, music. And I know it doesn't mean a whole lot, does it? But when I'm here on YouTube listening to 12 songs and I've just got the same artwork before I head, it does influence my perspective and my idea as to what the project, uh, you know, wants to imply, all right? So, you know what I mean? It's, it's funny how little things do make a big difference. Now, other than that, it was an enjoyable record. I preferred some songs more than others, but there was no place where I didn't enjoy the record. There was no weak link to the chain, so to speak. It was very good. The bass guitar was surprisingly the most uh, distorted, driven 
part of the band, uh, which is completely back to front, considering you just don't get that. It tends to be the guitars that are distorted. If I'm going to rate this record, uh, I'm going to be going to be controversial with this one, but give me a break. This isn't my style of music. So in my personal perspective, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10. And I don't say that to be disrespectful. I say that purely as I'm not going to listen to this record again. And I feel like I'm a bit too old for this now. I'm not in my emotions and I'm not feeling the message that's portrayed in this band like I would have felt it back in the day, quite simply. You know, I don't have time to stop and think about stuff like this no more. I want to hear good music, full of energy. I prefer a rhythm and a tempo and, uh, you know, a more overt, concentrated, powerful energy as opposed to a more laid back, you know, um, emotionally driven, poeticized means of getting, uh, you know, the sound across. That's just me personally. And I could tell that via looking at the comments of these videos, definitely the fan base is of a younger nature, all right? Uh, which is good, you know, because if you create art, it's best to create art for the kids, right? Because they're the people who matter. They're the ones you're going to influence. And uh, I really rate that, I respect that. And I think that's the beauty of art and the inner child that is manifest through being a creative individual. So that's my opinion. Uh, if you're into modern baseball, like I said, don't take it to heart. It's my personal opinion. If I was to say it in a general sense as far as where I think uh, it fits within the market and so forth, first and foremost, I don't have a great grasping and understanding of Midwest emo as a whole, so I can't really place it and compare and contrast it in that regard. And, you know, it would get a higher score uh, given that was the case, but... It's just my personal opinion. I enjoyed the record. I thought it was good. And I bet playing in a band like this is a lot of fun. Writing in a band like this is a lot of fun. I'm signing out, people. Peace.